Hello guys, today I'm going to introduce to you uh, Garagino and explain some of its wonderful features. As you may see, it's a very compact board. These header pins in front of it are meant to connect the USB to serial converter, making things really easier. Then it's just connect to the USB port of your computer and upload this catch from the IDE Arduino to the Garagino. Why we've made it like this? Well, we've created Garagino as a modular part different than Arduino, where we see the USB to serial converter integrated in each board. But sometimes your project won't use an USB to serial converter. Then why are you going to use one anyway? Generally, you just need one to upload your sketch to your microcontroller. Thus, here, you just connect the converter, upload your sketch, as though as it was an average Arduino Uno. Actually, Garagino uses the same bootloader, the same firmware that Arduino Uno uses. This means that all programs, all sketches you have done for Arduino Uno, can also use them in Garagino as well. So, after you uploaded the program, you remove the converter module and use only the Garagino in your project. This feature turns Garagino cheaper than Arduino. The Garagino's price is close to 50% of Garagino Uno's cost. It's certainly an advantage. We have prepared this simple circuit in order to show you the simplicity to work with Garagino. I connect it to a breadboard. Uh, the Garagino has uh, headers below it that are meant to do the task of connect it to a breadboard or even to connect it to a PCB. Uh, Arduino Uno doesn't have uh, this kind of headers. Then we connect the converter module and connect it to the USB of, uh, of your computer. Uh, this code will override the brightness of the LED by taking the analog read from the potentiometer. This sketch is very simple, but we won't go further on it, because the goal here is to show the Garagino's operation. But wait, this project does not use an USB to serial converter module. Don't worry, I'll take off the converter and the power supply of my project will power Garagino. In this case, two AA batteries. Garagino can work with supply from 1.8 to 5 volts. In other words, it's pretty versatile. You can work with projects with 3.3 volts that are so common nowadays, or any project where you are using average batteries. Here, you see the same circuit soldered on a PCB. That's one of the best features when thinking modularly. As we mentioned before, Garagino possess headers below it that can be used to solder directly to a PCB, making it suitable for prototyping or even to use in our final project. Here, it's being powered by the USB to serial converter module, but if you are using a different power supply in your board and want to isolate this, this supply from the USB supply, you just have to take off this jumper. 
that removes the supply coming from the USB to serial converter module, protecting the USB port of your computer and avoiding any other problems. We have created several shields for Gerogino, extending its ease of implementation. For example, we have created the mini Ethernet shield, mini RF shield, mini relay shield, mini XB shield, blow motor shield, and much more. So guys, that's it for today's video. I hope you have enjoyed, and as always, I hope to see you again right here on Garage Lab TV. See you! To get more information, visit our social web at garagelab.com. To buy one of our products, go to garagelabstore.com/store. And don't forget to subscribe at our YouTube channel.